Uh, thank you, Diana. Look, let's just get right to it, everybody. It's going to cost the average American about $500 more a month to just live. How does that help middle-income families in our country? How does that help poor families in our country? How does it help seniors on fixed income in our country? It does not. You know, when Joe Biden, when he first came in and he said he had a plan to save America, his American rescue plan, House Republicans told him that was going to be a disaster for America. We said it was going to lead to inflation. It did. We said it was going to create a labor shortage. It did. And so now, right now, in the budget committee, House Democrats are having a hearing to talk about all of the importance of the American Rescue Plan. Folks, we know the truth. If your plan worked, you don't have to hold congressional hearings to prove it. The proof is in the pudding. Every American would know it. If you're filling up a Suburban anywhere in the United States, it's going to cost you about $125 to $145 to fill it up. That $145 to fill up your Suburban, just to pick up your kids from practice and go back and forth to work, that's money you don't have to put food on the table. But guess what? The food to put on the table costs more too. So that takes away from you being able to have fun this summer like Diana was just talking about. You can't take that vacation. You can't go buy that new article of clothing. You can't go do the next thing that you choose to do. This inflation is the largest tax increase on poor families and middle income families in decades in the United States, all brought to us by Joe Biden. Frankly, a president who has no idea how an economy actually works. This White House likes to talk about building an economy for the middle class. That's literally what they were saying yesterday. The president's probably going to say it in about an hour in Philadelphia. Well, guess what, folks? An economy for the middle class doesn't work if the economy doesn't work. The late, great Margaret Thatcher said it better than any of us ever could. Joe Biden and the Democrats will prefer the poor be poorer so the rich are less rich. Joe Biden will prefer to build an economy that doesn't work for anybody as opposed to letting the free market and yes, trickle down economics, which does work, actually flourish in the United States. Joe Biden and House Democrats will prefer we talk more about Uvalde, the tragedy that we all care about. They will care more about talking about, we're talking about dog collars and oversight later today or tomorrow. They will prefer to talk about January 6th that actually do the job here in Congress and actually work on supply chains, work on energy, work on inflation, and do our job for the American people. And last thing I'll say is this. For the people amongst the House Democrats and among the administration who say, oh, just go buy an electric car, it's better. Your electric car costs about fifty-five dollars to $60,000 on average. Most Americans can't afford that. But then if you added one million more electric cars to the electric grid, there's not enough energy on the electric grid to actually power the electric cars you actually want to get in the United States. Oh, and by the way, when Joe Biden unleashed the Domestic Production Act, the Defense Production Act last week for solar panels, where do we get those solar panels from? We don't mine that stuff in the United States, folks. That comes from China. So this administration would rather us take our resources which are buying less products in the United States for our families and ship those resources off to China to help the Chinese grow their economies while Americans suffer here at home. It just doesn't work, folks. I don't need a congressional hearing to explain it. I see it every single day. Every American sees it every single day. And House Republicans are committed to reversing course and getting our nation back on track.